Baldur's Gate 3. If you're here because you know me from my usual content, chances are that you're not too much into gaming. So I want to give you a short summary of what you're about to see. Baldur's Gate 3 is a computer role-playing game that was released on the 3rd of August last year and took the gaming world by storm. At the Game Awards 2023, which were held four months after the release of the game, Baldur's Gate won six awards, including Game of the Year. And when the CEO of Larian Studios, the studio that made Baldur's Gate 3, walked onto the stage to receive the award while wearing a literal armor, it matched the dedication and love I felt while playing the game. So what can you do in Baldur's Gate 3? Simply put, you get to create your own character and play through a well-crafted story that changes based on your choices. It's set in a fantasy world where you encounter magic, demons, dragons, undead, goblins, orcs and everything in between. I strongly encourage you to experience this for yourself, because what you're about to see is not a normal playthrough of the game. It's my attempt to beat the hardest mode in Baldur's Gate 3, the recently added Honor Mode. To set the stage, I've played Baldur's Gate 3 for about 380 hours before starting this run and I've completed 100% of the game's achievements. Until they added one more, Fauxhammer, to beat Honor Mode. Today, at 12, I lost my last run. So it's gonna be a new game. <laughs> I'm not breaking. <laughs> Honor. A fraud and deadly campaign awaits limited to a single save file. Detailed overview. Honor Mode is an intense campaign recommended for experienced players. Stronger bosses, the most dangerous foes in the realms are more powerful in this mode with new abilities and legendary actions. Stricter rules. Alongside tactician mode, regular difficulty increases. Action economy and damage bonus rules are made stricter towards the end of the game. Single save file. You cannot reload all the saves in Honor Mode if events go... Uh, all right. Your choice and consequences always stick. If your entire party is defeated in combat, your honor mode run will end. You will be able to continue your adventure in custom mode should you desire, but finishing it will not count as finishing honor mode. If you are victorious and beat the game in this mode, you will be rewarded with a bespoke dice set to use in-game for future playthroughs. Good luck, honorable adventurer. You need it. Welcome to the hardest mode in Baldur's Gate. Uh, we don't need 40 hours in, into in our character creation because I know which character I'm playing right now. Since I had to create her a few times over already. We are going to play as a half orc. Why do we play a half orc? Because good stats, good features. This is this is not about what I like and what is pretty. She will really be pretty though. But the yeah, this is this is the hardest game mode. So it. I strive for maximum efficiency. <laughs> this face, warm, seven, body. I always go for tattoos in games because I never had them in real life. And I take earrings, obviously. Take a little makeup and hazelnut eyes. Hair still missing. I like this in black. This is not how fast you will make a character you take. I, the first time I took so much time. But you can also give her a beard if you feel like. And you can also change her identity to but to male, non-binary, non-binary, other or female. But this is the character I've been playing. And I really like her. Look at her. This is the thing why we play half orc. If you reach zero hit points, you regain one hit points instead of becoming downed. Which is just basically a bailout mechanic for honor mode, so we do not... You know, we have like, you know... A little bit of a backup in case we die. So, with our main character set up, we started the game. The start of Act 1 went relatively smoothly, as I've played this part of the game the most, so I've got a pretty good idea of what to do, when and what enemies to fight at what level. So this time was used to determine the builds I wanted to play and the characters I wanted to take on our journey. I quickly decided on Shadowheart. As she was already a cleric, I needed one anyway. You meet her very early in the game and she plays a big role in the second act. There she is. After that, we fought our way through the tutorial while acquiring the infamous Everburn Blade, which will be the main weapon for our main character throughout Act 1. Let's see, if this one, if this, this is the crucial part now. I want to make him 
Drop his weapon. Drop. 55% chance. Nice. Because then we can take this weapon. And it's it's the best weapon for my main character through whole Act 1. We took the time to set up all of our companions by changing their builds to better ones. All of the builds I used are linked in the description in case you want to use the same party. Um, Shadow Horrid. Let's try this way. Feel free to get in your new class. Well, old class, but new subclass. So you oh, are not I used to be here in my camp. As thou desire. Um, Cleric will stay the same. Cantrips will stay the same. She's tricky with domain. Little hint to her backstory. We want her to be a light domain, mainly for the spells she get and like her defensive abilities. 10, 16, 15, 8, 16, 8. The second companion, and the most troublesome, as we will see later, was Will. Damnable roach! Provoke the blade! And suffer it sting. The most important character for my honor mode runs to respec is my mage, because my mage is my charisma person. And the more charisma you have, the more for the, like, blade of frontiers at your the less money you pay at the shop, the traders, and the more money you get for the stuff you sell. And a little nice detail is if you want to change your wills class you can hear his patron laughing at him so watch out for that let's see if you hear it it's very quiet but she always laughs at us because <laughs> she's like well look at you trying to use another power that is not for me this is just because he's now a sorcerer, but his ancestor was a dragon. That's the reason why he has scales. 8, 16, 15, 8, 8, 17. I take 10 wisdom. I take religion as well. Oh, no, no, no. We take deception and intimidation. Because we need all the, all the proficiencies in the talking skills with him. Our third and my favorite companion was Kalek. The backbone of our run. One horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. I like Shadowheart. I like Will. I used to have Gale there. But Will I like more. And Kala. These are probably my... Three of my most liked characters. There are a few who are... Later that I also like. They come later. But also... Um... It's a little bit, call it, call it my group of misfits. <laughs> you will see why, probably in a second. But, all of these classes and builds are basically set. Like the one I use is set, Shadow Hearts and Wills. But Karak, it's always a little wild card. And I do not know which build to play. How would a party be built? You need something, somebody who does the damage from range and has spells um, to to do certain type of things, not only damage, but also interrupting enemies or making sure they can't attack. Then you need one who heals, which is uh, Shadowheart as a cleric. Heals and, and just is a tank. A tank is somebody who can take damage and survive long. Then you need someone in the front line who does damage, which is my character, Emily. She's also a barbarian, normally, but I don't need her as a barbarian. 
I need a uh, I need a second close range damage human thing. And monk is a very good class for that. But look at her, she doesn't feel like a monk. She doesn't strike me as the kind of a girl who's searching for inner peace. But she strikes me as a girl who would hit people with her fists. And just the simple part that a monk has a very, very good ability to, to stun enemies, which saves my saves me a lot of the time. Decisions, decisions. <sighs> You're gonna be a monk. With all of our companions set up, there was only one thing left to do. I'm moments away from a grisly death at the hands of this bloody song. I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Let me see if I can help. Um, it can't hurt. That was interesting. Why don't we try again? At least we got one. I don't know what happens. I never got the second one, but not the first one. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I like how she plays the lute. Look at her. Full of blood, Rest playing a lute. She has, she is, she is a bar, uh, she's a barbarian, okay, but she has class, okay, okay, just so you know. And since Act One went pretty smooth, here's a montage of all the boss fights that happened. Please fall down. Nice. Nice. We should be able to. You should search that corpse. Oh, oh. Please. This is a run ender, a potential run ender as well. Level five, hundred and sixty-two HP. So we'll do something. That's good damage. No. Better. Oh, look at this. Ooh, the lightning damage triggered. Do it again. Will is crazy at this stage of the game. Look at him. Use this one. 22. Can you finish this? Would be crazy. Does not look like... Uh, miss. He's supposed to run away here, by the way. That was, I think, the best... The best I ever thought him. Blood guzzles garb. You mean to take the growth for the Shadow Druids? What? Nice damage, though. Do it again. Okay. Always with the moonbeam. Stop it. Don't walk into the moonbeam, Silver. Please do yourself a favor. This is very nice. Let's start hitting her. Where we can. Okay, will you will do your thing. I will go idol. ahead. Okay. Don't she can go step. all the way over here. Oh, Movement. She's not able to get all the way, but this will hit. Um, and Manathra, bite. 
give me all the nice loot you have, especially these boots that they will we'll need. Ah, oh, and this liar. Not a good solo instrument. Okay, now we want to fight against him before he rages. Down there? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Poor fucker. Nice. In, 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 every now and then, but not. Oh, why you hit him? Uh oh, this should do a lot of damage. This should do no damage. Ah, oh, well, you're still here. I forgot about you for a second. You will end this now. It's your non animation. I have to say, the fights go pretty. pretty easy. Okay, okay, nice. That's good. Sensing your presence, the Knoll's tadpole rides in excess. It's approved? I don't care, we need her. Its host will feast on null flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. Level 510 HP, imagine having to fight that. It's hard. Bonk. Should probably come talk to us, though. <laughs> Even heals herself. He sniffs the air hungrily as you approach. Then prepares to strike. Level 5 is such a big power spike. Look at it. A little loud there. And bye. Oh, I can't get pretty far. Nice. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Easy. Bloody clever clubs. Oh, you are the real run. Oh, I forgot that the mm, yeah, I forgot this happens with every spell. Yikes. No spells in this fight. You are the real one. Ah, this thing. Old person, never good. Also not a good way. This fight is not going pretty well, not gonna lie. She's really not showing herself. We gotta get her. One day I'll catch a break. Should be able to hit her with a bow. Or with Oh! Or or just like this? <laughs> Planned, obviously. It's all planned. Now I have to be careful. I don't want to one-hit her, which this should not be able to do, except it's a crit. Okay, misses anyway. Yikes. Okay. It's not. It is. Yikes. <laughs> but it's it's only does one copy because it's a kind of a first level spell. Annoying. You will see why I do this so carefully and what I try to achieve here. Uh, 5 to 13. Um. Okay. This should be enough. Wait. Nice. Wait just a tick. Not a hope. It's one or the other. Ah. 
I'll take the power. Monstrous. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? What about me? Why did we do this? Because this will give us a permanent boost to one of the stats we want to have. And I designed this character with this in mind, specifically to have a plus one strength from here. Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nair does not fail. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. I guess we were a little overprepared. Fall by my hand. Easy. Now Will is the last one. Perfect. Nice. There were only two fights I was afraid of. The Grimforge fight and the Inquisitor, who ended my run the last time. Somehow the Grimforge went a lot easier than expected. The forge works just like that. Nice. We fought the fight and now we get rewarded. into the magma. This hits for sure. So everything should be fine. Can be a mistake or a saving grace. Saving grace? Please move. Yes. Want to attack? What happened? He's prone. It ended his turn. Go, be gone. Victory is mine. Easy. And the Inquisitor was a bit gnarly, but went down without too much trouble in the end. though yeah do this again he will get a radiant orb yeah and he gets nine radiant orb which give him minus one to attack holds <laughs> should be enough oh. suddenly act one was over and we were ready to move on to act two at the beginning of act two we immediately went out and bought most of the items we needed for our bills Drink Emily. 20 strength. With our newfound strength, nothing stood a chance against us in Act 2. But we faced one big problem. Try again. Oh, oh no, not him, not yet. Uh, Will's animations. Ha, ah, Will. He's worth it. 
Yeah, I, I don't deny that. I'm gonna experiment around a bit. You are in. Okay. First try. Welcome back! How do you feel on doing this? This is a <laughs> this is a lesson of in acceptance. If we need to accept, we'll not laugh him as he is. Yeah, after we tried to help him. I mean, will yeah, maybe this is better. Warlock. It's a firebolt spell on him though, cause um Shadow Heart is throwing the firebolt normally. Where am I needed? So now his wizard firebolt, how do you feel about that will? Not good. Will you're always the problem, child. Will having firebolt is a problem, yeah, but it's also magic missile. So by changing will it makes his gear useless? Nah, depends on what we change him to. If we make him a warlock, there are other pieces that would be good for a warlock that I didn't uh, look out that, that didn't look out for in Act One. We can we can still go to Act One, but you know some quests are just done. Hmm. I mean. does look a little weird than that. We could make him a cleric instead. But maybe it will fit him more if it's a different color. Now we have to have some respecking to do. I mean, this looks... This looks... He looks... This looks... Yeah. Well, be... Oh, look at him! Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's okay. Cleric. Light. Now that Shadowheart and Will had changed their class, there were no more animation bugs in sight, and we continued to breeze through Act 2. Chad also decided to romance Will along the way, so we got to witness scenes like these. <laughs> this is your this is your romance, Chad. Nice form, where you learn this dance. Stay quiet and watch him dance. It's like watching a beached flounder flop back to the sea. Is that the idea? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't see you standing there. Lost in the steps, truth be told. I need them to be just right. I wouldn't want to fail my new partner. Will the proofs. This is not bowing. Oh. <sighs> Why is the subtitle still there? Oh! Yes, we do. All good. Saved, chat. It's saved. I saved you. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! That's it? Take a bow, we're confident. Now, perhaps we might try a more intimate style.
Will it proves. With everything settled, we leveled up, finished all the main quests and went on to set up for the final fight of Act 2. But the ease in which I was proceeding made me careless and it almost cost me the run at the Trials of Shar. I think we can do this without doing a rest. No, no, no! Another trial. Allow me, please. I fucked up. Somebody out of this? Yes. This is actually. Oh no, they fixed it. Why is Karak dead? We better take a long rest now. I do not seem to do so good. Oh, it's 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 close. <laughs> Shoot. Ready to fight. Oh, I forgot how to do this normally. Should be able to jump up here, but we are not. I guess jumping is also not allowed. Here it is allowed. That's crazy. No, what are you doing? So this, I know we can walk here. That's pretty easy. Then we can jump over here because it let us do this. Cool. Because she's blinded, she cannot cast a spell. That's the thing. I like how it's a totally different game now. Oh. Defender of the people. Ah, oh, ha, 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 this is annoying. Ooh, you, 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 at this point I was afraid that another mistake or misstep would end my entire run, as all the tactics I usually use were somehow not working or I did them in the wrong order. So after a lot of thinking and trying I decided to just try the same thing again knowing it had to work eventually. At least we know that this is a path that we can take. Okay, I probably can cast this. It's not, it's too I can also not jump over there. He's able to jump with this one. First of all, turn based. Nah. Exit turn based. Drink it. And enter turn based. Should at least be able to jump over there. Please, just be able to do it. Okay. Revive. Okay. Revive Kalek. Here. Two. Now we have multiple plans. Target is out of sight. I don't know target is out of sight. Well, maybe it's not. Not now. <laughs> okay, game. Not now. Well, well, well. She should be able to teleport here. But she she did that before and she just died.
after rescuing the Night Song, we were ready to fight alongside her against the final boss of Act 2. Oh shit! <laughs> Woohoo! Damn! <laughs> Yes, him, Catherick. The one fight that ended my first run in honor mode. Try again. My preparation went out the window when I had to deal with an interesting elevator bug just before the fight. I wanna, I wanna rush this boss now. But we gotta be prepared. Why? What is happening? Shadowheart? Amelie? Get them down here? I do not really. Still breathing, despite everything. Emily, are you are you okay? Let me shy. to rest. Boy, this is annoying. Wanna dance? <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Patch six. You win some, you lose some. Phew. Let's see if they get teleported when we go in. No Pretty bad. We found it. The Enter. absolute. Just teleport them. Just do it. Okay. And I am the hero who will save it. It's only the two of them. Shadows don't suit me. <laughs> Forty five HP, uh, fifty eight. This <laughs> is crazy. What? Where is she now? Mm. Oh, she's dead. But she is now at the bottom. Okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, yes. No! Death. Let's see if that... Cast. Alive, so that's progress. This is not how this is supposed to, to be. Going. Finally, after this little incident, the whole group was able to join the fight. But the bug couldn't have come at the worst time because this is the most important fight. I've lost it before. My preparation went out the window, like I said. And yeah, disaster struck. He shall not move. Okay, stunned. Amazing. Cool, prone as well. Almost dead. Look at what he does. Okay, let's do it. One. I have to make sure that he is dead. Okay, take this. Uh. Focus your attack, soldiers. Please, be stunned. Oh, he can do the prone thing too. Before this time. What a fool you are. You cannot. I like how Kalik is the main protagonist I in this fight. Am. Oh, 
he's super cool. And super strong. But it is no matter, for I am death. And I am not the end. I am the beginning. So, here we are. Will is almost dead. Emily is not doing so well. We are not able to heal while we are near him and we have 390 hit points to go. And so, it began. This is not... It was a good choice to attack. Miss! Crazy. gets hit but I'm okay with that half-life when they all hatch we gone okay because when they hatch they heal him and then we're gone why do you hit her now she's frightened that's annoying don't hit Carla miss now nobody shall heal him if he, if he gets healed we, we, we're done Too much. Yeah, wait, this is done. I think we, we lost. Multiple times I thought that one would end here, but the game wanted us to continue, and so so we did. Infuse the creature with get reach zero hits, but it heals instead of falling unconscious. Yeah, she's dead. Finger of death. Oh, but but we had the thing on her. Nice. You have to do the turn of your life now, Aelin. <laughs> I didn't get the gaze of that. That's crazy. What are you doing now? <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> now we cannot do it. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Without him healing, or Aelin does the turn of her life, she doesn't die. She's dead. If by some weird miracle he's he will not heal this turn, we have a chance. Please, everybody attack. No heal. That's good. Waiting for him. Never mind. Only Emily is. Oh, he doesn't heal. We are. Dream is alive. Dream is alive. Emily is. Emily can do 40 damage. Emily is lethargic because her haste is over. Why is everything against us? Why is every single thing against us in this fight? Well, it's me planning it, but... Okay, what can you do? Can you do something against the target? She can maybe live one more turn. And if they don't heal... Because somehow they don't heal anymore. Ah! Eleven! Eleven! On Will? Wait, Will is dead. Nine. Eight. Aelin. Dead. Heal? Something? He looks like healing. This looks like healing. Now it's a healing turn. Yeah. Already... 47. If everybody does this now, then this is over. Shield. One heal is okay. One heal is okay. Oh, she still has sanctuary. Try it because she never attacked. Forty. 
55. Emily can do 55 as well. Hopefully, if she hits. This game is really trying to help us here. 55, Emily. 55. Maybe Shadowheart first. Forty-five. Forty-five percent. First hit. Not enough damage. We have to crit now. Ten. Now he's now he kills her finger of death. Not even death. No, nope, this will kill her. Also not. But they will kill her. Miss? 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 What is this? Streamer's luck? Miss? Critical miss? <laughs> She's frightened. 30% to hit. Three. What? What? <laughs> One? What? <laughs> what is this like? <laughs> One? Nothing will stand in my way. Huh? Emily? She came back from the dead. After completing Act 2, all that was left was to gain two more levels, find our final items and complete Act 3. Luckily, almost all of the remaining items I needed were accessible from the beginning of Act 3 without much fighting. Yay! Nice. Don't want to wake him, but we take this home. Give me the gold. And this helmet. Nice. Nice. And even gets a critical hit. Nice. And take him. Ooh. Still a 21. These bonuses are insane. Take him. Take it. And after collecting them all, I just had to choose which boss to fight first. And since I was afraid of the fights with Orin and Gortash, I chose the Steel Watch of Foundry for XP and answered for our final weapon. Or was there something with attacking the others first? No time for mercy. Just one bleed, that's the thing. Yes. Almost. Spare. Kala should do the rest. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Steel Watch's foundry went smoothly thanks to our huge damage output from our new items, and answer was manageable thanks to Shadowheart's Orb of Invulnerability spell. Are you ready, Chad? The dragon spirit floods your mind and memory in a great torrent of power. He is with you. He is within you. He is you. Ooh. No buffing then, I guess. Good turn. Um, now you. Have to keep going. Yeah, 
Look at Emily. This would have been the damage you could have do, done, and everything would be great. So, because he will do the storm again. Emily will get some damage, that's okay. Emily, but Emily stands with one HP because she's, as always, a hero. Well then, Emily, you will, do you want to be the one who ends it? Emily is the shit. They're not level 12. That's crazy. We get a legendary weapon called Balduran's Giant Slayer. Which is... A very good, if not the best weapon in the game. It's a big sword. But then, the fight I prepared the least for. Gortash. And since we were not fully leveled up yet, I had my doubts. But huh. now, roll over and die. Huh. Give up your life just as easily as you are ready to give up the stones. Yeah, 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 my guy. Stun him. Ah, oh. chef's kiss. I will transform now. Oh, he's stunned. <laughs> uh, who are you? Who are you, my friend? You are a boss fight. You were a boss fight. As you saw, they were all unfounded. As it turned out, he went down in three turns without even transforming. Suddenly, Orin was the only boss standing between us and the final battle against the Elder Brain. Smell it. Gortash's corpse stain. His killer approaches. Hello. I pulled out my notes, went into the fight, and. Come to me, father. Set my flesh to your unholy purpose. Let's see what happens. Can you stun her? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, Emily, can you fly over here and seal the deal? Because this would be another amazingly... Amazing boss fight then. <laughs> One turn. And these were the two fights I had so much... I was so scared of. Took her down in one turn? Well, that was unexpected, but well received. Since I took the energy to push through the last fights and reach the final showdown versus the Netherbrain within one stream. Are you ready to face the Netherbrain? Yes. It is, it is almost 1 a.m. for me. Basically two fights. We gotta see how, how well we do here. Normally, I would rush through all of these enemies, but a guide I'd seen earlier said it was better to get rid of them all at a slower pace, so that's what we did. It's time for a lot of... I think you could make your way out and kill a dragon if you feel like it. You can 
make your way back. Amazing. Now we go. Can I hit him? Everybody counterspelling us. Okay. This he is gone. Good. After getting rid of them all, we had our use of divine intervention left. This is a once per campaign spell, which completely healed my entire party and restored all of our spells. We were more than ready for the final fight. One. No. Ah, Whew. okay. Everybody is now fully. Oh, nice. Perfect use for divine intervention. Everyone needs one. Okay, it's open. Okay. It's weakened. This is our chance. It does damage, does it does damage all the time or only once? I cannot use it again because I don't have, have another six level spell. Will I go for magic magic missile is the question here. With heat? Well, that was not the biggest damage in the world. We will cast some big spell who does force damage, I think. Scroll of this one. It is integrated. Good. We still have the Emperor, though. What can you do, my friend? You could throw a bomb. Will this end all of us, is the question. Everything in the vicinity. Well, let's not do it. <laughs> a squall of Blight. Necrotic damage. Well, not that much. We're close, chat. We're close. Okay, now the brain does things. Please no bug. Please just normal stuff. Yes. Good. Okay. Okay, now... Okay. Yeah, it's, it's immune against forest and against necrotic. These will all collapse next turn. So we go to a safe spot so nobody dies after we finish this. I want to attack with Karlak first. Maybe there will be some weird stuff happening. Yeah, because there will be the... Yeah, the damage. And I think Shadowheart will be the one to, to, to defeat it. Let's see if we did everything right and if we get the achievement. Oh, this is... Uh, when the achievement pops up... I will be happy. Until then, we keep all cool. Go ahead, command the brain to destroy all tadpoles and then itself. I must end. It's gonna have one heck of a headache, yep. Nothing like a flying brain. <laughs> After a long, emotional epilogue scene, it finally appeared. You cannot see it! It's here! It's down here! You heard the noise! You heard the noise! Foehammer. The achievement I needed to get back to 100%.